uh, Jack Garcia with IE Squared back at the uh, Austin ADC headquarters. Um, something we wanted to show you was the stairs here at the building that uh, are no longer code compliant and, and for several reasons. Um, the first reason uh, I can talk about is there needs to be at the last step of your stairs where you reach any landing, there needs to be at least a 12 inch uh, run, a horizontal run that when uh, a blind person would be walking down the stairs grabbing onto the, the handrail, once they reach that point, they can feel that it extends longer and that's an indication to them that they're about to hit the last step and they don't need to brace themselves for another one. Which if you've ever walked down the stairs with your eyes closed, you know what that feels like. Uh, the other reason is they're not grippable, as in you can't close your hand around it. Um, since these are obviously just a solid piece of wood, um, they, these don't work. So they can be about uh, two inches round um, and they can be any, any shape, just as long as there's no sharp edges, they don't turn, um, but you just need to be able to grip onto them in case you were falling and you have a nice secure grip. Uh, the other thing which these do have is there's handrails on both sides, but on the on this side, since there is a fall hazard, this would actually need to be a guardrail also, which means this would need to be higher than it is now. So this whole thing would need to get changed out. And about height, we'll talk at the top of the stairs about the actual guardrails at the top. And up here there's a couple of other examples that uh, we need to look at. Say for instance at the top of the stairs like I mentioned, uh, there's a nice long run on the handrail that would indicate that you're at the top of the stairs as well as the handrail ends here. So if, when you feel it, you know that there's, there's not another elevation that you're going to go up to. You know that this is the end of your stairs. Um, another thing would be the height of the actual guardrails around the stairs. Uh, current code says that these need to be at 42 inches. Uh, these are actually well below my waist, which is a safety hazard. Uh, I could easily fall over or lean back and fall over the back of them. So these need to get brought up to height. Uh, but one thing that, that hasn't changed and is right on these is the slats in between uh, the, the support rails. Now those are uh, four inches and that is well small enough so that you can't get anything stuck in between uh, the rails, specifically a head. Uh, so if you have any children at home, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, and also uh, the distance between the handrails and any other surface. You can see uh, a gap here that's so you can actually grip the stairs or the handrail uh, as you're going down or, or using them. 